За тиждень до шостої річниці трагедії MH17. One week before the sixth anniversary of the MH17 tragedy, the Netherlands filed a lawsuit against Russia with the European Court of Human Rights over a passenger plane shot down in the sky over Donbass on July 17, 2014. By taking this step today, bringing a case before the ECHR and thus supporting the victims and their relatives' claims as much as we can, we are moving closer to this goal, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Netherlands, Steph Bloch. У цій трагедії Селена Фредрік втратила свого 23-річного сина. In this tragedy, Selena Fredericks lost her 23-year-old son, who was on board the down plane with his girlfriend. Although six years have passed since the disaster, nothing has changed in her son's room. Everything remains as it was during her life. She considers the fact that the Netherlands filed a lawsuit against Russia with the European Court of Human Rights as an important step. She says it will be increasingly difficult for Russia to deny its involvement in the downing of flight MH17. Criminal uh, trial. Uh, is important Put because we want to know what happened, why and who. The case between the uh, Netherlands and Russia is more about the responsibility of uh, Russia for what happened. Also important. Після збиття MH17 родичі загиблих звернулися до Європейського суду з прав людини. After the downing of MH17, the relatives of the victims appealed to the European Court of Human Rights. The lawsuits were filed in May 2016 and November 2018. The relatives accused Russia of failing to meet its obligations to conduct an effective investigation and of violating human rights. U.S. lawyer Jerry Skinner, who represents relatives in the European Court of Human Rights, says the Netherlands' support for the lawsuits of relatives increases the pressure placed on Russia since the day of the attack. The filing of the Dutch government's application seeking to hold Russia responsible for the deaths for all the passengers and crew on board Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 on July 17, 2014, is a welcome step taken by a long sought after partner. During the proceedings, Russia has lost evidence, obstructed the official investigation, protected actors and witnesses from having evidence discovered, and created an endless stream of false, manufactured, and misleading evidence and information. The Russian conduct is insulting to my clients and to any sane person with an interest in seeing that justice is done. There were 80 children on this flight. Russia took away a lot of people's futures. It was wrong. We must make them accept responsibility or we will allow them to make our world less civilized. The European Court of Human Rights is an international judicial body that has the right to hear complaints from individuals and interstate complainants. In fact, the lawsuit filed by the Netherlands against Russia is an official recognition of Russia's involvement as a state in the downing of flight MH17. Що також важливо ви згадали родичів загиблих для них? It is extremely important for the relatives of the victims that Netherlands not only filed this interstate lawsuit but also joined the case that has already been initiated by the relatives of the victims. It is symbolic that this is happening ahead of the sixth anniversary of this tragic event. The Netherlands is also considering involving other states in the trial against Russia in the European Court of Human Rights in the MH17 case. This proposal should be studied in the light of a whole range of issues and ongoing lawsuits initiated by our state, in particular the trial in the International Court of Justice. A trial which is under the care of the Ministry of Justice is also underway in the European Court of Human Rights. If it is useful for ensuring justice and proving Ukraine's position on the downing of flight MH17, the issue will be studied. I want to emphasize today that Ukraine is taking quite powerful and comprehensive steps towards bringing Russia to account as a state and for its involvement in the downing of MH17. The relatives of the victims put up this bench opposite the building of the Russian embassy in The Hague. The inscription on it says, Humanity above politics, waiting for responsibility and full clarity. It is here that they hold annual protests by setting up 298 white chairs that symbolize the lives of all those on board the plane and call on Russia to acknowledge its involvement in the crash.